Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me. We should take a look at the end of the week storm tomorrow and Friday into tomorrow into Friday, our end of the week storm. Um, the bulk of the heavy precipitation is going to fall as rain, but tomorrow during the day, we are going to see some light snow, which could cause some problems on the road. So I want to just kind of give you some details on that as we go forward. Um, the pattern continues to be uh, not what we're looking for. Obviously, we keep getting these bouts of rain. It does look like there is some signs the pattern may be slowly starting to break down. Um, but uh, we're going to still have to wait and see a bit. Um, we're definitely, it's definitely not breaking down immediately, but some of the long-term models are starting to kind of show some pattern breakdowns. We're sort of due for our pattern break, but we'll have to see. All right, so first of all here, we've got just the uh, kind of the, the progression of storms. These are all coming in off the Pacific. We've talked about why this is not good for us in terms of winter weather around the Northeast Here's our storm today, uh, the tomorrow, kind of getting going here over the central part of the country. And uh, what's going to happen with this storm is um, it is definitely going to go well to our west, and then the low is actually going to track pretty much the secondary low. Uh, so here's the sort of the primary. Here's the secondary that's getting going. This will become the primary low by tomorrow. This is going to track kind of right over the top of us. Uh, what that's going to do, um, and there's also pretty strong high pressure to our north, and we actually did cool off today. We got some slightly cold air in here at least. Um, that's going to hold on a bit, which is going to allow for it to be mostly snow tomorrow before the uh, overwhelming uh, air, uh, kind of warm air starts to flood over that and changes to rain uh, overnight Thursday night into Friday. That is also when the bulk of the heavy precipitation heads in our direction. So I will show you some maps to kind of demonstrate that. But here on radar, see, we're just getting going. Um, we haven't really started to tap a lot of moisture. This will become a much more moist system, though. It's going to grab some moisture from the, uh, the Gulf, and it's going to grab some moisture from the Atlantic, um, and it's going to kind of uh, – all of this kind of low pressure system uh, that are kind of uh, separated here over the west is, are going to kind of consolidate into one and kind of become one central system. Uh, the system to the north will die and uh, we'll kind of get more of a, uh, this is a cutter uh, of a system. So let's take a look at how that's going to happen. Um, so today, here we are kind of right about an hour or so. We've got this uh, low pressure system here located kind of over the uh, Mississippi, central Mississippi uh, River Valley. We've got a warm front, uh, and then we've got this storm that's sort of dying. It's also trying to push a warm front towards us. This warm front is kind of stalling out because we do have this high-pressure system uh, to our north in Quebec that is filtering down some colder air. That's why we're colder this morning than we've been in a bit here. I was in uh, where a lot of most of us are in the middle teens today. Um, and uh, so that's going to uh, set, us, set us in place for some overrunning precipitation, which will be snow initially. Uh, we'll have a brief period of mixed precipitation that change to rain after that. So by tomorrow, or sorry, went too far forward there. Of course we did. Thursday morning. There we go. Uh -huh. So by tomorrow morning, uh, we have this system to the north. This uh, warm front is really dying at this point, and we're going to kind of reconsolidate everything. And as this dies, it, there is a little bit of lift left over from it, though. That's what's going to give us our light snow. Though this is going to be light snow tomorrow, not not heavy snow or anything like that. But um, uh, this front has died enough, and there's still enough cold air getting pushed in from this high pressure system to our north that we will stay snow for most of the day for most of us tomorrow across southern Vermont. Um, again, light snow, we're only talking uh, quoting to a couple inches of snow, but enough that in the afternoon the roads could be a bit slick. Now this system uh, then is going to start to take over, and its surge of warm air will overwhelm the cold air um, because it will be much stronger, and it will change the precipitation to rain so that by Friday morning – um, but you can't see me there, but by Friday morning, we will be uh, looking at all rain at this point, um, as we're going to see uh, this, uh, the warm front really push through here. And the only places that kind of stay, uh, the system is going to track kind of along the U.S.-Canadian border. It's the only places north of the low that are going to stay snow at that point. Uh, so in terms of uh, what things look like, Thursday morning, showers, sprinkles kind of too far to our southwest. We're in the, we're right in the, uh, belt of light snow. Now this is flurries to light snow. I don't think we don't have to worry about anything in terms of morning commuter. I don't think it, even through noon, I think it's just going to be some flurries in the air. It shouldn't really be enough to make the roads too greasy, but afternoon we could have some issues and we'll see that by, um, by Thursday afternoon, that mixed line does move through or that snow line is still uh, mostly across a Southern Vermont. The mixed line is starting to get into places like 
uh, Bennington by later on in the afternoon. And this will continue to push forward through the uh, late afternoon and evening. We're going to push that mixed line. It's a brief mixed line. Won't really be. There could be some sleet or some freezing rain in there, but that won't last that long. Not enough to cause any icing issues or anything like that. Don't worry about that at all. But um, it will uh, kind of change things over. And this is where we would get in the afternoon. We would get that light. To, you know, you could get moderate snow for a bit, and that's where the accumulation will happen. A couple inches, for, especially for the higher elevations of the greens. Um, but again, not a significant amount of snow because by Friday evening or by, by, sorry, by Thursday overnight, the rain pushes way to our north. And a matter of fact, this line will move even further on Friday. And the precipitation kind of continues through or, uh, through the first half of the day on Friday with, uh, with their moderate to heavy rain at times um, as we go through. So uh, in terms of the storm details, light snow during the day tomorrow. Roads could be slick Thursday afternoon and evening. Precipitation changes to all rain Thursday evening and becomes heavy. Total snow coating to two inches, which will get washed away with the rain. Then we already get three quarters of an inch to about an inch and a quarter of rain, I think, out of this as we go forward. So I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I would encourage you to do so. Big thank you for uh, supporting the channel. And uh, I'll be back on Friday with a look at your weekend forecast. And, uh, and then I'm always back on Mondays as well with work reports. All right, we'll see you on Friday. Thank you.